Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Rosewood. My name is E Rose and oh my goodness. So I have enough diamonds now to make a full set of armor, so I think that's what we're gonna try to do today. And Grayson, do you wanna come with me? Or do you just wanna sleep in the bed? Come on, Grayson. I wanna show you the library slash museum. Come on. Come on. There you go, little one. He's pushing his way through. Alright, and Daisy, you're very excited about this fish tank, aren't you? She's very, very excited. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on enchanting some of our armor first thing. Since I do have 60... Ooh, we got rotten flesh. <laughs> but since I do have 62 levels from my AFK fish farm, uh, we do have enough to start working on making our armor. I do have a bunch of enchanted books too that we can use, so we'll have to see what we want to do. Uh, come on, Grayson. Oh, you're so cute. I love that new kitty color. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. What if I go over here? Will you come with me? Grayson. Are you going to come? I hear you. There you are, little guy. Oh, you're so cute. I love your green eyes and your pink little nose. And our two librarians. Oh, and I also started making a map, too. Um, and I put a banner down by our house. So there is a little heart there with a pink banner. So that is where we live. That's our little house. That is the little island that the horsies got married on, Taco Bell. Here's our stables. Um, so we'll have to work on filling out the rest of these maps, but I thought that was really cool. And that might actually be a good place to go ahead and put our map, like right in the center of our first little museum room, but we'll have to see. So I do have some protection books that we might want to use. So we'll, we'll test it out. Uh, let's go ahead and make our full set of diamond armor. We've never had diamond armor before in this series. Oh my gosh. This is going to be our first. Our first and hopefully not our last. So we have just enough plus a little bit extra to make a full set of diamond armor. <gasps> Cover me with diamonds. See? See? We did it. We did it, guys. Cover me with diamonds. Grayson, we did it. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go ahead and grab some of our lapis in here. And we will go ahead and see what we can get. So protection three, not happy. Projectile protection. Is it still best to just put protection on all your armor? I forget. Because um, I know it used to be just like, just put protection on everything. But is it like efficient now to actually put like projectile protection and blast protection? Or is it pretty much just, you know, just, just, just put protection on everything. I don't know. And now that we have super OP armor, it's time to go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing with these villagers. I've also built a mini minecart rail track over here in our house. This is not pretty. Definitely not pretty. Definitely need to spruce this up a little bit. But if we come over here, I actually have a mini track that leads us underneath uh, where we have our villagers. So this will really be really nice. So let's go ahead and use the rails and see how it goes. Uh, there's a blue window right here, which you can see into my AFK storage room, which is really cool. Uh, but over here, this, what you're looking at now, is actually a villager breeder. It's not hooked up or anything, because I've been breeding villagers just fine uh, in my little experiment room that I've been, like, working with them. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit what's going on. So here is the villager breeder, and then you can come up here and check on the villagers and throw food at them and all that jazz um over here i started making like a little minecart uh area to remove the villagers from inside the farm oh gosh i ruined everything everything's been ruined but as i was saying this is like an area to remove uh the villagers from this corner where that water stream is pushing them and then maybe we'll have them go inside minecarts and travel somewhere else Maybe, one day. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, so up here, I actually have a little area. Once again, still need to work on this. There's a little cave down here too, by the way. Uh, but yeah, hello! We are greeted by iron golems. I did not place any iron golems in this world. But we have lots and lots of iron golems now. Holy crap. So I'm not sure how iron golems work now. But uh, we got a lot of them. We even have them spilling over into that AFK room that I showed you guys uh, over there, which is like right behind that wall. Uh, but here are my villagers and their iron golem friends. Holy crap. So I've been doing some visual learning. I'm a very good at being a visual learner. 
So I wanted to understand the new villagers. I wanted to understand the people. They're not prisoners, remember? They're in the, they're in the witness protection program. We're protecting them from illagers. And uh, yeah, as you can see, everybody is sleeping. And villagers were kind of breed as long as they have beds. So as you can see, all of these beds are actually full. <laughs> so they will continue to breed and fill up all of the beds, which is pretty cool. And they'll pick professions based on what you have available. So I had like one of everything so they can kind of like pick what type of profession they wanted. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I actually want to go, let's see, do I have any wool over here still? Because, oh my gosh, excuse me. No, I don't have any wool. I want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep so I can show you guys these villagers. Uh, I'm, sir, I'm so sorry. I'm going to use your bed. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and go to sleep really quick. <laughs> and then I can show you guys these villagers a little bit better. There you go. Oh gosh, they're escaping now. Well, they'll come back because they come back to their workstation. But, uh, oh yeah, as you can see, they're trying to breed. So in order to breed the new villagers, all you need is to have enough beds for everybody and have them have access to food or just throw food at them. And once they have enough food, they can like trade with each other. If you have enough beds, they'll continue to breed. Look, everybody wants to make love. <laughs> it's very friendly people here. Uh, but I do have some very interesting villager trades happening right now. Uh, so we have a lot of farmer dudes that have been trading different types of produce. And then we have this guy over here who's pretty cool. I've already traded with him a few times, but he will actually, no, not this one. Actually, no, not this guy. It's the other guy. Uh, the other one. Do I still have him? Is he still alive? Where is he? He's the one that escaped, wasn't he? He knows. He knows what's up. This guy. <gasps> silk touch book. We get silk touch books for 17 emeralds, a book, and this guy will give us silk touch. So I've traded with him a few times, but I ran out of emeralds. So we'll have to work on doing something in the future. Oh my gosh. This place is crazy. <laughs> and um, I do want to trade some paper with one of the villager dudes in here too. So what I want to do with these guys is I actually, like this was just like their temporary witness protection safety room. But we still have our original farmers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Who is a really good farmer dude? Somebody must be. He's in here somewhere. They're all both in here somewhere. Uh, but I do want to know how to do some trading today because I do have lots of sugarcane and glass. Do I have a crafting table in here? I used to. Did I remove it? Here. I have one here. We'll give you guys a crafting table. <laughs> and we're going to trade all this paper, if we can, to that cartographer guy. And I think he might also want some glass too. And something else that's really cool with villagers, if you hold out an item that somebody will trade with you for, they will actually like show you what they'll trade with you with that item. So let's see, who wants paper? This guy wants paper, you see? Because he's holding out an emerald, he's like showing me what he'll trade me for. So I'll know that this guy wants paper because he's showing me an emerald, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and trade with him all the paper that he wants. I need all of the emeralds. I'm basically out since I've been trading. All right, so he doesn't want any more that, but he will take glass panes. So let's go ahead and trade him all the glass that he wants. There you go. He is now all over with that. Let's see, gold pattern. So we have 16 emeralds now. You are not the villager I was looking at. Yeah, so if I hold out emeralds, as you can see, this guy will have pumpkin pie, cookies. He'll kind of like scroll through what, he'll, what he has to offer for these emeralds, which I think is really, really cool. So if you kind of like hold out an item and you're like, who will trade this? So kind of, you'll be able to see because the villager will show you. He'll be like, hey, this is what, what my goods are. This is what I'm selling. Ooh, I always think you're the, the silk touch guy, but you're not. You're an imposter. So what I'm going to do with these guys is I think I want to, I might make, I mean, I did make the villager breeder, so I probably will use it, but honestly, like you don't really need to because it's so easy to breed villagers now, but we'll probably put two in there to see how it works and see if we can get it going. But what I want to do with these guys is I actually want to breed them up and get some really good trade guys, like the guy that has a silk touch book, get some farmer guys, so we have people to trade 
produce with. Um, I think there is actually a way to have the villagers farm up like produce and you can put hopper minecarts under there and kind of like take the produce from them. So you can kind of have like little automated wheat farms and carrots and potatoes. I think we'll want to make some of those in the future definitely. Uh, but I think I want to build like a nice village for these people. Like I want to give them a nice place to call home. I'm thinking it might be a little underground village. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. But this is crazy. Oh my gosh. They're making love, guys. They're lovely people. And all they need are beds and food. Like me. Me. Like, that's all you need to be happy. You just need a bed and food. And then you're a happy person. You're a very happy camper. Wee! Woo! So now I start the long process of trying to get villagers inside the actual villager breeder. So this is gonna be complicated, maybe. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna... They're gonna be too, uh... Willing. Is that the right word? Too willing. Oh gosh, we need more room. We need more room. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to make some type of little area to get them inside of the villager breeder and we'll use dirt to do that. Did I use silk touch? I did. Okay. I was about to be all mad and be like, hey, Eros, you didn't use silk touch, but I totally did. So I'm just going to make a little dirt walkway here, kind of like to bridge them over to the breeder. And then I'm going to try to get two of them inside of it. And I think we'll try to use boats to get the villagers inside of this area. So it should be, you know what? It should be okay, right? I'm very optimistic. I probably shouldn't be. This is probably going to be a disaster. All right, but as long as we make sure that they can't escape from this, what could go wrong? Like I'll even put, you know, a little roof on it so no one can escape. Oh, and that means the iron golems can't get in here either, which is good because I don't, I don't want those ones. I just want villager dudes. Village dudes! Alright, so we're gonna have to break this up a little bit. That's okay, we'll fix it later. And then the hole is actually right here. So let's go ahead and put dirt right there so they cannot escape. And let's go ahead and put a bunch of dirt here too. So they can't get off to the side because I want them to go where I want them to go. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, so let's go ahead and see. So this should be good. We'll block that off. And then we'll have to get them to somehow fall down in there. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I think I can actually put like six villagers in here, but we'll see. So I guess now we start the process of trying to get villagers inside. Oh my gosh, oh, and they're sleeping again. Villager dudes! Uh. Can I lead golems? I might need to relocate these guys for a second because they're going to be in the way. I can. All right, let's go ahead and I guess move them out here. I could, I could break this wall, couldn't I? Let's go ahead and do that for now. And try to relocate the golems a little bit. They're really cool though. I don't want to get rid of them. I just, I just want to move them because they're getting in the way. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess they're doing their job. They're trying to protect the villagers, but guys, like, chill out. They're okay. They're encased. Everything's gonna be fine. All right, so move you guys over here. Oh wow, that guy already walked over here. Maybe it won't be as hard as I thought to actually get the villagers inside. Um, I should probably make stairs. If I have stairs, oh, 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 okay, okay, yes, yes. He's not, he's not, he's not. He, he's smarter than I think. What if I put a trap door here? Will they think that it's an okay block to walk on? I wonder, but they're very curious. So that is good to know that they'll actually walk over here on their own. I wonder if I put like their work tables over there. Hey guy. Yeah, go back over there. It's a good place. It's fun. Do you want to get in the boat? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're making love. Everybody's so happy here oh my gosh look at these iron golems they're like nothing to see here move along move along oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh okay all right villager dudes stop trying to make babies i need some of you guys to get in the villager breeder to make babies what what logic what 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 so I wonder if I open this up again, if we'll have some very curious villagers who will wander out here and I can push them inside. If not, I can use boats. 
But I mean, if they willingly go in there, I feel a little bit better about myself and I don't feel like such an awful person. So y'all need to stop trying to make babies. There's not enough beds. Get in the villager breeder. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. Since I moved all the workstations, uh, this guy doesn't have a job anymore. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. You can kind of like re-give villagers jobs. You can make jobs. We can do this. So I think we're going to have to go with mission boat. Um, so which one of y'all want to go in the breeder first? Huh? Is it you? Let's go ahead and put down this boat. All right. Oh, plan failed. Unless I can push boats or if I can use water to move the boats, maybe that makes sense. So let's go ahead and put some blocks there, put a water and look at that. We're pushing the boat, We're pushing the boat. And can we do it again? Let's go ahead and put a barrier here. Push the water. Move the boats. Oh gosh, they took damage. Why do they take damage? Uh, but they're out of the boat now. Can I push them up the stair, maybe? They're like, lady, what are you what are you doing here? <laughs> what? Yeah, go up there. Go up there. Go up there. It's fun. It's fun. Everything's fun. Everything's fun. And everything's fine. Don't be scared. Everything's gonna be okay. <gasps> we got one! You took damage though. But you should be okay, right? You okay down there? Ooh, maybe I should make it not so steep. Yeah, let's do that. <gasps> now he's gonna drown. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, there we go. Alright, you're next! <laughs> do you there we go, we got two. Oh, look at that. They're already trying to make love. Look at that. They're already trying to make love. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful sight. And if we had enough beds, they would make babies. So I think I want to put a couple more dudes in there. So, uh, who wants to go in the love shack next? So I have about eight villagers inside of the villager breeder. And if I did this right, as long as I have enough beds, they should make a bunch of babies. Uh, let's go ahead and make a few more beds. I did remove all the beds up in that upper chamber that we had some of the other villagers in. And there's still about like four in there. Um, but yeah, here are all their beds. So if we place enough beds down close to them, they should start making babies and the babies should start popping out down here. So I guess we'll just place all these beds in we'll see what happens hopefully they'll start making the babies and that would be pretty cool uh, I should have probably laid this out better for placing beds but you know what sometimes you just gotta you just gotta wing it so we'll place down all these beds and should be good uh, there's more in here oh gosh we have so many beds should we just make a floor made out of beds would that be good for us to do <laughs> Uh, is this gonna work? I guess we'll see. I do need to remove that trapdoor that's on the bottom too since I do already have enough villagers in there because that will keep the babies. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to remove that real quick too. Uh, where's the best place? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh no. Oh gosh, what happened? Hello? But if we, let's see. Yeah, they're, 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 they're doing stuff. Uh, break this going here oh gosh now we're in the villager breeder but as you can see the water will push the babies to this corner uh, but we need to get rid of this and oh wait there's already little babies oh my gosh they already made little babies um all right well one of them escaped <laughs> what the heck are you gonna go back in there little baby what are you doing why are you crazy come here little baby but yeah obviously the villager breeder is working so there's, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're like throwing food at each other. Holy crap. Uh, there's already four babies, there's three in there, and there's one right here, hi. Um, and what we would do is I would have like a minecart here. And have it pick up this baby. And then it's supposed to let the baby actually leave this area but uh, for some reason it's not working so maybe I'll just let it leave on its own oh there's there's a block there oh gosh 
Um, but yeah, it'll put babies in minecarts, and then we'll eventually have a place for the babies to actually go. So as long as we move these babies away, the villagers will still keep making babies, because they won't think there are as many villagers as I made, or they made, and, uh, we can have all the baby villagers. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Get in the minecart so you can be safe. Just, just listen to me, little one. Just do it. It's not, it's not gonna listen to me. Uh... Oh my gosh, we need to make a place for these villagers to go. <laughs> Holy crap! Where'd the baby go? Baby, what are you doing, little gun one? Oh my gosh. Uh, can you- maybe I'll put you in a boat. Get in a boat. Alright, at least now he's in a boat. And- oh my gosh, there's still baby in there, so yeah, it definitely works! Villager breeder. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have so many villagers. Do you guys hear that train that's in real life? There's a train. <laughs> oh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rosewood. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We will make a nice little village for these villagers. Don't you worry. They'll be very happy uh, one day whenever we figure out where we're gonna make that and have a minecart system that leads them away. But yeah, this is very cool. I like the new villager mechanics in 1.14 Minecraft pretty awesome. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's episode. Bye!